let's talk about telescope which is a laparoscopic instrument this is a picture showing telescope it contains adapter for light cable eyepiece shaft containing rod lens and terminal and oblique and lens on the outer surface it is a viewing instrument for laparoscopic surgery these are available as diameter 1.9 to 10 mm and lens angulation 0 degree to 30 or 45 degree parts it has eyepiece adapter for light cable and shaft containing rod lens now identification of 0 degree and 30 degree telescopes in 0 degree telescope the terminal end of the telescope is rounded and the lens is at the terminal part this is a forward viewing telescope in 30 degree telescope the terminal end of the telescope is oblique and the lens is located on the under surface this is an oblique viewing telescope now, sterilization there may be chemical sterilization gas sterilization or autoclaving for the newer generation telescopes in chemical sterilization 2 percent glutaraldehyde solution for 4 hours for sterilization and 20 minutes for disinfection is given and parasitic acid may also be given in gas sterilization ethylene oxide and plasma sterilization is used let's talk about trucar and cannula which are the laparoscopic instruments now this is a picture showing trucar and cannula now, method of introduction of the trucar the top of the trucar rests on the palm and the trucar and the cannula is held in between the fingers the trucar is gradually inserted by rotating movement till loss of resistance is felt after the telescope is attached to the camera the camera is inserted and the subsequent trucar are inserted on the vision vision of trucar and cannula the cannulas are the channel for introdu introduction of the laparoscopic instruments the inner sharp trucar is required for smooth introduction of the cannula in the cannula there is a valve which prevents leakage of the carbon dioxide gas so that pneumoperitoneum is maintained well now truca trucar and cannula needed for lab cool operation 2 10 mm and 2 5 mm cannula are required for lab cholecystectomy cool operation and 1 10 mm sub umbilical port for telescope attached to the camera this is cannula part 1 10 mm epigastric port inserted to the right of falciform ligament just below the gifoid this is surgeon's right hand working port 1 5 mm right mid clavicular port inserted below the right costal margin at the right mid clavicular line and this is the surgeon's left hand working port 1 5 mm right anterior axillary port inserted at the level of umbilicus at the right anterior axillary line this is the assisting port for holding the fundus of the gallbladder let's talk about Marilyn dissector which is a laparoscopic instrument uses it is used during laparoscopic cholecystectomy to dissect the cystic pedicle and it is also used to make a tunnel around the cystic duct and artery for application of clips it is used during other laparoscopic operation for dissections let's talk about endo scissors which may be called or straight bladed this is a picture showing endo scissors curved bladed or straight bladed uses it is used for cutting structures during endoscopic procedures and it is used to cut cystic duct and artery after clipping during the laparoscopic colchicectomy let's talk about various needle which is a laparoscopic instrument this is a picture showing various needle now parts of various needle this is a spring loaded needle the outer needle has a sharp end and there is a rounded stillet inside which projects beyond the sharp tip of the needle by spring action. Uses of this needle. This is used for introduction of new peritoneum during laparoscopic surgery. Holding of this needle. The needle is held in between the thumb and the index and middle finger. The ring finger is placed to act as a guard to prevent excessive entry of needle into the peritoneal cavity. Now insertion of needle. A subumbilical 10 mm incision is made and the various needle is held in between the fingers and placed in the umbilical incision site at 45 degree angle directed towards the pelvis and the needle is inserted. Two clicks will be felt once after entry through the linear alba and next as the surgical neoperitoneum is penetrated. Let's talk about endograsping forceps. This is a picture showing endograsping forceps which is a tooth variety. 
and this picture shows in the grasping forceps which is of non-tooth variety. Now uses. It is used to hold tissues and in laparoscopic consistectomy one grasper holds the fundus and another grasper holds the Hartman's pouch. Let's talk about endoscopic clip applicator which is a laparoscopic instrument. This is a picture showing endoscopic clip applicator. Now uses. It is used for applying titanium clips during laparoscopic procedure and it is, it is also used to clip a cystic duct and artery before dissection. Now let's talk about endoscopic crocodile forceps which is a laparoscopic instrument. This is a picture showing endoscopic crocodile forceps. Now uses. It is used as gallbladder extraction forceps during laparoscopic cystectomy. Let's talk about endoscopic diathermy hook which is a laparoscopic instrument. Now this is a picture showing endoscopic diathermy hook. Uses. It is used for diathermy dissection during laparoscopic procedure and it, it is also used to dissect the gallbladder from liver bed. Let's talk about endoscopic diathermy spatula which is a laparoscopic instrument. Now this is a picture showing endoscopic diathermy spatula. It has teeth with spoon-like metal blade and a hand handle with metal knob. Now uses. It is used for diathermy dissection during laparoscopic procedure and used to dissect the gallbladder from liver bed. Let's talk about endoscopic spoon forceps, which is a laparoscopic instrument. This is a picture showing endoscopic spoon forceps. It has blades with group and handle without ratchet. Uses. It is used during laparoscopic cholecystectomy for picking up spilled out stones. Let's talk about indoor needle holder. Now this is a picture showing indoor needle holder. Uses. It is used in laparoscopic procedure requiring such things like during laparoscopic gastrogenostomy, coldocodenostomy and gut resection and anastomosis. Let's talk about suction irrigation cannula which is a laparoscopic instrument. Now, this is a picture showing suction irrigation cannula. Now, uses. It is used for suction of blood fluid pus during laparoscopic procedure. Through irrigation channel fluid can be used for irrigation of the operative area. Let's talk about liga clip which is a laparoscopic instrument. Now this is a picture showing Liga Clip LT400 and this is a picture showing Liga Clip LT300. Now uses. These are titanium clips used during laparoscopic procedure. These are used to clip a vessel before division. The cystic duct is clipped with this titanium clip before division. End of the topic.